Charlize Theron, a South African American actress, producer, and humanitarian, was born on August 7, 1975, in Benoni, a city in the Guantang province of South Africa. Her early life was marked by significant challenges. Theron's childhood was shaped by her family's tumultuous dynamics. Her father, Charles Theron, was an alcoholic who struggled with anger issues. In an extreme case of self-defense, when Charlize was just 15 years old, her mother Gerda shot and killed her father in an act of defense against his violent behavior. The incident had a profound impact on Charlize and her family. Despite the difficulties, Theron pursued modeling in her late teens and won a local modeling contest. This success inspired her to move to Milan and then to New York City to further her modeling career. However, her true passion lay in acting, and she eventually transitioned into pursuing roles in film. Theron's breakthrough came with her performance in the 1997 film, The Devil's Advocate, where she starred alongside Al Pacino and Keanu Reeves. She continued to establish herself as a versatile and talented actress, earning critical acclaim for her roles in films such as Monster, 2003, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress, North Country, 2005, and Mad Max, Fury Road, 2015, among others. Theron's performance in the 2003 film Monster was a turning point in her career. She underwent a dramatic physical transformation to portray real-life serial killer Aileen Warnos. Her portrayal was not only critically acclaimed, but also earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress. Following the, her Oscar win, Theron showcased her versatility as an actress, taking on a variety of roles across different genres. She starred in films like North Country, 2005, Young Adult, 2011, and Mad Max Fury Road, 2015, demonstrating her ability to excel in both dramatic and action oriented roles. Charlize Theron, has had a prolific and diverse career in the film industry, portraying a wide range of characters across various genres. Some of her most notable roles in movies include number one, Monster, 2003. Theron delivered a transmortive performance as Aileen Warnos, a real-life serial killer, in his biographical crime drama. Her portrayal earned her widespread critical acclaim including the Academy Award for Best Actress. Number two, Mad Max Fury Road, 2015. In this action-packed post apocalyptic film created by George Miller, Theron played Imperator Furiosa, a fierce and determined warrior who teams up with Max Rokitansky, played by Tom Hardy, to escape a tyrannical ruler. Her performance was widely praised, contributing significantly to the film's critical and commercial success. Number three, North Country, 2005. Theron starred as Josie Ames, a woman who faces harassment and discrimination while working in a Minnesota mining town. Her performance earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. Number four, Young Adult, 2011. Theron portrayed Mavis Gray, a divorced and emotionally troubled young adult fiction writer who returns to her hometown in an attempt to win back her high school sweetheart. Her performance was praised for its complexity and depth. Number five, The Italian Job, 2003. In this heist film, Theron played Stella Bridger, a skilled safe cracker who joins a team of thieves led by Charlie Croker, played by Mark Wahlberg, to play a pull off a major gold heist. Charlie Theron's Relationships Charlie Theron, like many celebrities, has had various relationships over the years. Here are some notable ones. Stuart Townsend, 2001-2010 Theron dated Irish actor Stuart Townsend for nearly a decade after they met on the set of the film Trapped in 2001. They were in a committed relationship but they never married. Sean Penn, 2013-2015 Theron was in a high-profile relationship with actor Sean Penn. They got engaged in 2014, but ended their engagement in 2015. Eric Thal, 1990s. 
Theron reportedly dated actor Eric Thal in the 1990s before she gained fame as an actress. Stephen Jenkins, 1990s. Theron was also in a relationship with music musician Stephen Jenkins, the lead singer of the band Third Eye Blind during the 1990s. Alexander Starksgard, 2012. Theron was rumored to have briefly dated Swedish acts, actor Alexander Skarsgård in 2012, although neither party confirmed their relationship. Gabriel Aubrey, 2017. Theron was linked to Canadian model and actor Gabriel Aubrey in 2017, but the relationship was not confirmed by either party. Brad Pitt, rumored. There have been rumors and speculations about a possible romantic involvement between Theron and actor Brad Pitt, but neither has confirmed these rumors. Charlize Theron's net worth is $220 million as of 2024. Theron has ventured into producing, which further boosted her wealth. Charlize Theron salary. Theron has earned an $18 million salary for the Mad Max Fury Road in comparison. Tom Hardy, the film's male lead, reportedly earned just over $7 million for the same film. Now let us see the salary earned by Charlize Theron for a few of her most notable movies. Real Estate Wealth Theron owns a modern-style mansion in Los Angeles featuring breathtaking city views, reportedly purchased for $8.5 million in 2009. She also owns a Spanish-style bungalow in Malibu valued at around $7 million. She recently acquired a three-bedroom New York penthouse for $6.64 million. Charlize Theron's rumored residence in a $150 million mansion epitomizes the pinnacle of Hollywood luxury and sophistication. Perched atop the rolling hills of Bel Air, this architectural marvel boosts sweeping views of Los Angeles skyline and the pacific ocean beyond the mansion a sprawling estate adorned with sleek lines and modernistic design offers every imaginable amenity fit for a superstar of theron's caliber from the state-of-the-art home theater and expansive wine cellar to its affinity pool and meticulously landscaped gardens every aspect of the property exudes elegance and opulence Yet um, amid the glitz and glamour, Theron maintains a sense of privacy and tranquility, retreating to her sanctuary away from the prying lens of paparazzi. It serves as both a symbol of her success in the entertainment industry and a haven where she can find solace and recharge amidst the wind, whirlwind of fame. Charlize Theron raised her two adoptive kids without a ton of help. Not having the perfect living conditions as a child motivated South African-born actress Charlize Theron to dream of adoption. Becoming one of the world's highest paid actresses with various accolades did not deter her from pursuing her wish to nurture kids, and today she willingly parents two of her own without help. Behind Charlize Theron's success is her drive to succeed as a movie star and her dream to make a change as a mother, giving her kids the childhood she never had. Despite her historical success, the actress prefers to be a single woman, but as she basks in her singlehood, she is consumed with parenting her two adoptive kids. Becoming a single mom to Jackson, whom she adopted in 2012, and August in 2015, has been overwhelming, and she has barely had time to keep romantic relationships, she clarified. I want to be clear, I was raising two small children, and your life just becomes very all-consuming. You know they need you for everything. The actress was raised mainly by her mother, even before her father's death, and as an only child, she often wished for a sibling but never asked her mother to have another baby. Instead, she opted to have a sibling via adoption. This was because Theron lived in apartheid South Africa and was exposed to orphanages and less provided kids. Theron, obsessed with being an ever-present parent, is handling motherhood duties alone, without a host of staff at her beck and call. At age eight, she understood compassion and begged her mother to adopt a child during Christmas. In an interview with Diane von Fastenberg on her podcast, In Charge with DFV, 
The monster star admitted that she always felt connected to motherhood, specifically through adoption. Being raised in South Africa made her conscious of helpless children, and when she started making a name for herself and living comfortably, she knew it was time to parent a child. After welcoming her two kids, the old guard star boosted about her experience. According to her, it was empowering. She added, the fact that I got to choose when I wanted to be a mom, where I travel a lot, and I see a lot of young girls not have that choice. There is a great power in choosing when you have to be a mother and doing it when your body, your mind and everything is celebrating all of that. I know that is what I can handle. During her past relationships, Theron was open about the future she had hoped to have. The actress notified her parents about her passion for ad having adopted kids, explaining that it was always her first option. In 2012, before filming Mad Max Fury Road, she officially joined the mother team. The Hollywood icon welcomed baby Jackson, whom she bonded with instantly. Theron stated that she was not specific about gender or race, but she believed that there was a baby made for her. Interestingly, her two adoptees were born in America, but shared her African lineage. Three years after her first motherhood experience, the on-screen star felt it was time to expand the family, and she added a younger child, August. Despite the hectic work schedule, Theron spends quality time nurturing, teaching, and cooking for her kids. Since the beginning, she has always loved international parenting and wanted to equip her kids with confidence. The doting mother of two who champions the call for better representation in Hollywood and has witnessed inequality following her childhood, apartheid South Africa, yearns for her children to embrace their uniqueness and thrive in any environment. She said, building confidence for them right now is an oath I made to myself when I bought them home. They need to know where they came from and be proud of that. I want to surround them in a world where they feel they can belong and they can shine and they can live to their full potential. One of the best ways she intends to impact her mini-me's is by taking charge as a single mother, juggling acting and career while letting them understand the importance of working hard. Theron, obsessed with being an ever-present parent, is handling motherhood duties alone without a host of staff at her beck and call. The actress admitted, I have one nanny, so it's not like I have a ton of help. Yet she enjoyed the process of raising her kids, even though it came with sacrifices. However, in 2019, after undergoing three surgeries and becoming preoccupied with promoting two films, Theron was in a fix as she had no nanny at the time but not for long as she re relied on her loved ones, including family members and friends for help. The actress confirmed to US Weekly, every single person in my life who is like my family has just stepped in and it's really meant a lot to me. Tonight I was like writing while a friend of mine was watching. My mom is cooking dinner for the kids right now. Though in the past, Theron cited her passion for tasking workload as the reason she stopped modeling and pursued acting the actress unashamedly expressed that as an older parent, she would easily sacrifice acting for motherhood.